Russia's foreign minister has told European business leaders the moment of truth has arrived when it comes to sanctions. Sergei Lavrov says it's decision about it's about decision time rather about the future relationship of Russia and the EU. Take a listen to what he had to say. Sanctions are harmful. They are unlawful. Brussels' decisions, particularly on imposing sanctions against Russia, were taken under America's strong pressure. Matthew Chance is in Moscow and joins me now. Matthew, it's been four months or so since the spring when the West started imposing these sanctions as a result of Russia's annexation of Crimea. Um, what do we know in terms of whether the sanctions are hurting Russia? Clearly, we continue to hear the talk, talk coming out of Moscow. Yeah, not just the annexation of Crimea, but also, of course, the allegations that it's been um, uh, basically fueling the violence in eastern Ukraine as well. Uh, in terms of uh, how much impact these sanctions are actually having on the Russian economy, it's very difficult to determine because there are not just sanctions at play when we see the depreciating Russian currency. It's depreciated uh, upwards of 20 percent over the course of this year or the course of the last 12 months, at least. Um, uh, other issues affecting uh, uh, affecting uh, the, the economy as well. Inflation is running at well over 8%. It's not altogether clear uh, that the sanctions are altogether to blame for that. There are underlying issues as well. We've seen the oil price globally, on which Russia's economy is very dependent, of course, uh, go to uh, lows that haven't been seen in some time as well. So obviously that's having an impact. But, you know, clearly uh, it's having an impact on the Russian economy. It's having an impact on European economies as well. And that's why, in some senses, European business leaders uh, are on the same side as the Kremlin at least here in Moscow, in their meeting they've been having here in Moscow, in calling for the sanctions to come to, uh, come to an end. Earlier I spoke to uh, Dr. Frank Strauf, he's the CEO of the Association of European Business. Here's what he had to say. Well, the, the point is certainly that uh, business doesn't necessarily like uh, the sanctions. We as an association of European businesses have spoken out several times against sanctions. We have called uh, for, uh, let's say, diplomatic measures, diplomatic talks in order to, to solve the crisis. And generally in favor of de-escalation. And you also see that sanctions are not helpful in de-escalating the do, situation. Do you believe that diplomatic talks would be helpful in de-escalating the situation or indeed in returning Crimea to Ukraine? Well, as per that is, I mean, uh, what, what, what else can we do than, than talk uh, in diplomatic circles? That's, that's a task of diplomacy. That's a tar task of our governments, and we hope that this will help also to improve the situation. Right, well, Maggie, in the meantime, European officials have told me that uh, they intend to sit down and again discuss whether or not to ease the sanctions they've imposed against Russia at the end of this month. So that'd be something that we're going to be watching very carefully, Maggie. Matthew, I have, a, I have a question. I mean, th th that man was saying that, that they'd like to see a resolution. Russia is now going to be hit by not only the sanctions, but falling oil. Uh, if it continues to move in the direction it's going to do, it's also going to put a squeeze on them. Has the business community really been that vocal, that outwardly vocal about their oppositions to sanctions? Uh, the business community in Europe, yes, as we've just heard. Yeah. The business community in Russia, not so much. I mean, you know, for them, it's about maintaining you know, good relationships, good corporate relationships with the Kremlin. It's so important in this country for Russian businesses to essentially toe the line uh, of the Russian government. And so you haven't seen uh, people come out and, and, and speak about the Russian government having to do more uh, to bring these sanctions to an end. And indeed, uh, that's something I tried to put to the Russian foreign minister uh, earlier today. I asked him whether there was any sense that Russia felt it was its actions that would be determining whether uh, the sanctions would be lifted. And he just for simply refused to ask the questions and so from, answer the question. So uh, from a Russian point of view, they're refusing to accept that it's what Russia has been doing that has provoked these sanctions. And it doesn't look like they're going to change any of their actions in the future. All right, Matthew Chan.